Hi again, everyone, and welcome to the Pro Rodeo Sports Update, powered by your Alberta Ram dealers. The 2013 Ram 1500 is Motor Trends Truck of the Year. Get into your quad cab SXT 4x4 for only $27,498 at the Load Up on Value sales event. The 101st Calgary Stampede has come and gone. Six rodeo contestants riding off with checks for $100,000 each. Over a million dollars in prize money with the second and third and fourth place payouts taken into consideration and president obama must be thrilled because it's all headed back to the united states no canadians came through in the short go round championship series late sunday afternoon in the steer wrestling event the title matchup was between ethan thuvenal jake reinhardt matt reeves and wade sumter all american bulldoggers and wade sumter from fowler colorado dogged his steer in a rapid three and eight to take this year's title oh yeah real excited you know you don't get the opportunity to do that all the time so when you can take advantage of it it feels real good you know the first time you you don't even know what's going on now i kind of know what's going on but i'm still pretty excited it never get old i guarantee you that calgary you know they came together this is a huge event in calgary and you knew they'd come together and do the best they could to make it as good as they could and that was it's everything's been a lot built more put back together than i expected so it's been good in the calf roping finals it was ryan jarrett adam gray jerome schneeberger and the winner bradley bynum out of sterling city texas bynum was happy everything worked out when he wrapped and tied in a seven seconds flat always wanted to be here and rope here it seemed realistic if i could ever get a good year put together and be able to get invited here and i'm sure glad they invited me the ladies barrel racing came down to fall and tail Sherry Servi, the three times world champ. Mary Walker, the current world champ. And the quickest in the championship round, Gene Winters. The Tex Line Texas Cowgirl rounded the barrels in a very exciting 1740 to capture her first Calgary Stampede title. And of course, the big payoff worth $100,000. I didn't get a chance to ride the arena because it had rained so much. So when I came back, and when the second set was running, I stayed here, worked my horse, and kind of worked some things out and uh he came back on wild card saturday and really fired good tell us about your horse you ran him three times in two days to get here because you didn't do anything in the eight ball uh, he he tends to fire a little bit harder the more you run him uh i was a little bit worried on this last run because he will try and outthink me and that's kind of what happened on that first barrel. I tried to help him stay up, and he said, no, there's a barrel, we're turning it. <laughs> and uh, so I was thinking then on that first barrel, but he, he runs real hard. He has kind of a weird style, and it can be kind of hard to ride. Who proved to be the king of the cowboys in the riding events? I'll share those results with you after this word from your Alberta Ram dealers. Ram 1500 is in a class all its own with best-in-class fuel economy and a class-exclusive 8-speed transmission. It was even named 2013 Motor Trend Truck of the Year. So to everyone else who didn't get there, class dismissed. Get an all-new 2013 Ram 1500 SXT 4x4 for less than 26000 See dealer for details. That's glory, Ram. Now to the Rough Stock event winners, and we'll start with the Saddle Bronc riding where Cole Elshier, Wade Sundell, current world champion Taos Muncie, and this year's Calgary champ, Court Shear from Ellesmere, Nebraska, covered Franklin's spring planning for a whopping 93.5 point ride. No Canadians in the short go round final. This year's bareback event was narrowed down to Justin McDaniel, Casey Field, Canada's Dusty Lavalley, and Caleb Bennett from Morgan, Utah. Bennett was 92 points to take home the big check in the title Calgary Stampede Bareback Champion for 2013. It's a horse that I knew and, and every bareback rider, you know, it's one of those ones that a guy really wants to get on. And when you've got prize money like this up for grabs, it's the one to have in a four-man round, you know, because he's rider-friendly, yet he's electric and showy enough that you can be 90-plus on him every time if you do your part. I had more confidence in myself when I nodded my head. First time I got on her, I second-guessed my capabilities. And, and it was, I guess you call it fear. And I had a good buddy, Clint, Clint Cannon, tell me, fear's your worst enemy. Don't let it overpower you. Last but not least, a former Calgary Stampede champ up against Ty Posebon from Merritt, B.C., 
J.W. Harris from Texas, Tanner Byrne out of Prince Albert, Saskatchewan, and J.B. Mooney from Mooresville, North Carolina. Mooney, who was the 2009 Calgary champ, covered the Calgary Stampedes, bombs away for an amazing 91 and a half point bull ride. I knew he was good. He's got a couple different trips, so I didn't really know what to expect. Uh, sometimes he'll start left and then go back right. Sometimes he'll go a couple jumps and go right. And uh, so I really didn't know what to expect. And uh, Luckily, he was right in the gate to the left, and it worked out great. I just kept my hand shut and kept trying to ride because he slammed me at the end. This is the second time I've won it. Um, you know, it's an accomplishment even to be invited to this rodeo and to be able to win it not once but twice is, I mean, your confidence can't get any higher than that. I love coming up here. It kind of it takes it back to old school, you know. It's outside, and I love it. Yeah, they're great to you here, and it's a fun experience for anybody. So 200,000 plus winnings at Calgary in the last five years. In the evening Rangeland Derby Chuck Wagon races, High Rivers Jason Glass took the big prize. I'll have all those details on our next report this afternoon. For your Alberta Ram dealers, now featuring the 2013 Ram 1500 and all of their showrooms, I'm Arnie Jackson for the Rodeo Country Radio Network.